Hi everyone, this is Frida Haas with the Face Paint Forum Shop and I had a short little rose tutorial today for a quick eye design. Um, it's a little different and I'm going to be using this palette here and this is Leanne's, let's check it out, Leanne's Happy Pixie Petal Palette and I'm using Leanne's Pretty in Pink which is this one right here. And that's just going to be on a sponge to cover the eye a little bit. So I'm just using a petal sponge that I just sprayed with water. And I really just kind of want the shimmers mostly. This is a pink shimmer and this looks like a pearl shimmer. And just to give the eye a little bit of a, a base. So starting at the corner of the eye. And of course these faces are a little bit exaggerated, but I do like them. So. Just like that, a little bit of an eyeshadow. If I'm doing this on an actual person, it probably wouldn't go over so much, but these boards are sometimes a little tricky to get to exactly where you want. And I usually just take a paper towel spritz with water to do a quick little cleanup. So I'm just gonna take it down a little bit because I really don't want to go too much over the eyebrow. The next product I'm using is a Blazin brush by Marcella Bustamante. And this is their 5 8 angle brush. I also have a number three Nats Fancy Faces right there, round brush. So the two colors will be, these are Craze Face Paint. I have one of these splash palettes. Um, and I will be using their pink one and the green one. So let's see. To get started, I wanna make sure that my brush is fully saturated with water all the way up to the ferrule. I don't want it dripping wet, but I do want all these bristles to be completely hydrated before I start pulling uh, paint into it. And then I will just wipe off that excess and that will help my paint flow up my bristles instead of starting with a brush that you just tipped into water that much. Make sure that all these bristles are fully saturated. But you know, you don't want a dripping wet paintbrush when you go into the paint. So I'm gonna start loading up this brush with this pink split cake. But the very last thing I'm gonna do is pull it into my green. Just a couple of strokes into the green. And I like doing this for sort of an antique rose look. And our rose is gonna fall right here on the cheekbone under the eyes because the roses are gonna, one rose here with sort of falling petals and rose buds this way. And the way I'm gonna create this rose today is to go under here and start wiggle, wiggle, wiggle around. And because I did that really sort of quick dip into green, I'm getting this really super pretty, do you see that right in there where it's just this, well, I call it antique roses, but I don't know if that's, the, but just a couple, just a couple of swipes just to pick up a little bit of that yellow and it mutes the rose um, colors a little bit. And then from over here, I'm gonna start on this end, come up a little bit, but I wanna go around the eye, come back around, and then into the inside. So one swoops from the outside, one swoops from the inside. Now, as I go into the center of the rose, I'm gonna not pick up this green anymore. I'm gonna only, see, can I move that in so you see? Okay, so I'm gonna just go into my pink this time. And then the, I have all these wiggly lines. I'm gonna start right here and put in the center using the corner right there. And then I can pick whichever one of these lines that go in toward its center and do my inside petal. So I'm gonna pick right here and go in right there. 
pick up a little bit. And I really want what I'm doing right now is just picking up some of that white. Um, I'm going to come in here and go right on along that edge, pull in a petal. Right here, I have a pretty nice little uh, petal shape that I can just continue. Pull that one in. And I'm going to pull this a little bit more like that. Let's see if I can define that a little bit more like that. That's better. And then just where I feel there's missing a little bit, but I think that's pretty good. Now I'm going to do this little spray of rosebuds. And with the rosebuds, I uh, pick up some more of that pink and then a couple of swipes into, into that green, just like that. And then this, these are going to fall and kind of point towards this focal point here. So I'm going to do a couple of just guiding lines so I know that I get in my flow right and it's going to be three buds. And the way I'm doing those is, let's see, I am kind of want to create just this triangle shape by pulling in the bottom, like lining up the points and just pulling it from the bottom and line up this really delicate little rose buds. That's it. I'm at the very tip here. So lay down the, the brush at an angle and then just pull the bottom in like that. And then I just kind of pull the tip along to get the division between those center petals. All right, now I'm dipping my paintbrush completely in water and I'm gonna give it a couple of wipes on this paper towel. And then I'm gonna go straight into my green. So this paintbrush still has a lot of pink and white in it. And I'm gonna pick up this. This is a great green, by the way, that's in this palette. So this is gonna be to create my leaves. And at the very base, I'm gonna just angle my paintbrush up because I really only want a paint with us dark that it's back here. So lay that down and create the base of these petals. Okay. And now I wanna come in and I just lay down this straight like this. And this helps me create flow with my leaves. So, and they look like rose branches. They're very pretty. And I use a pretty il illustrated brush stroke when I do my roses. I don't necessarily just paint perfect leaves. I lay it down and I have a sort of flick. And especially if you do this around here, if you lay it down at an angle and you just kind of flip like that, to me, it makes a nice little petal shape. And I call it illustrative because it's not perfectly drawn. It's just the suggestion. And this totally reads like leaves, even though they're not perfect. And then I, I like to just do little sprays. And this becomes this really pretty, delicate, antique, roses. The next thing I want to do is pick up my round brush and I'm going to pick up a little bit of this green that I have right here. I'm going straight from the, from this cake right here. And I want to come in and super delicately get a little bit of green that's sort of, these are the little leaves that are at the base of a rose. And again, that's about it. I don't need to do much more than that. And then the very last is to go in with some white on a round brush. And what I'll be doing here is just frame that eye a little bit with some swirls. So, let's see my flow. Something like that. 
actually not 100% happy that that thing goes, just kind of sticks off into nothing. So let's take that away. Let's take it away. And I'm going to finish it with some dots. Right there. I don't feel like I need to do too much. And I think that's perfectly pretty just on its own. There you have it. Antique roses with rose buds. Yes, I guess what I'm calling this one. Thank you.